Okay, well, today is lost. Um, started framing in the windows, was waiting on my help to get there. And, uh, <clears throat> anyways, he had some vehicle problems. And, uh, long short of it is, he ain't coming, and I couldn't do it by myself. Uh, the headers, the headers on that window, on two two of the windows are 10 feet long. <clears throat> I can't get them up there. I've only got two hands. So, anywho, so I'm gonna go and work on Baby Blue. And I figured I'd give you guys the rundown of why I'm getting rid of my uh, 2016 Ram 1500, which I am in currently right now. And I know that I will miss terribly. Uh, but anyways, so the deal is, is I've never, um, I've never actually purchased until this I've never actually purchased myself a brand new vehicle and uh, I always wanted to I guess it was that midlife crisis type of thing so I went ahead and I did it and I purchased it and after just a few months of ownership I actually owned it outright and uh, so it's paid off <clears throat> and um, What was I gonna say? Oh, so why would I sell a truck that I've already paid off and that I I claim to like? All right, uh, that's a that's a reasonable question. Well, the reason is is that uh, number one, I like old shit. I do. It's um, it's cool. That's me. I like it. The other thing is that uh, even though this is paid off, so I got a 16 year old daughter, and I'm sorry, not a 16, I've got an 18 year old daughter, and a son that's about to be 16. And I don't know how it is in the, re on the, rest, in the rest of the world, but here in Georgia, if they live in your household, they have to go on your insurance. They have to. So that means my wife's car, which is a 2011, and it's got full coverage insurance on it and this truck brand new truck worth you know twenty five thousand dollars even though it's used you know uh, of course it's got full coverage Caitlin has to be on that insurance as well and then pretty soon Blake will have his driver's license and he'll have to be on the insurance as well so we're paying per month and we've 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 called around it probably has a lot to do with, of course, the, 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 the under 21 driver, the young driver, as well as um, currently we still live in the city. But we pay almost $600 a month in vehicle insurance. And so it's like, God dang it, uh, got to, got to, got to find a way around this and so my wife's vehicle which even though it's a 2011 the value for it is it, it's a little Honda Insight you know the hybrid and she loves that car she'll probably run it into the ground you know for many more years to come but um, it only values it like 4500 something like that and uh, so we can we can take it off full coverage. Plus, it's got a bunch of little dings and scratches all over it. She really doesn't take care of a car. She's terrible on a car. She drives pretty easy, but but it scratches. Ooh, 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 I hit a curb. Uh, ooh, I hit a concrete post. <laughs> you know, she's that's the way she drives. So, um, having full coverage insurance on it, not needed. Um, and then if we if I get rid of this truck, definitely don't need full coverage on on an old truck on, on baby blue so by selling this truck um, I just right off the bat my insurance will drop 
I gotta say, it gotta be at least $200 a month it'll drop. Probably more likely $300 a month or something. But anyways, but selling this truck brings me to my point, I guess my third point. Yep. First, I like old cars. Second, the insurance is too much. And third, this truck is not doing anything for me outside of reliable transportation and being able to haul and pull a lot. It's not doing anything for me bes besides dropping in value. I am losing money every day that passes. Um, I got, uh, we got CarMax here in Georgia. It might be nationwide, I don't know. But it's a used car thing and you can bring it to them and they'll just buy your car. Uh, now they'll, they'll pay a little bit above wholesale prices and uh, I figure buying a truck like this, or I'm sorry, selling a truck like this as a, as a personal owner would be very difficult for me and I'd probably only get about 22,000 really uh, and so CarMax, CarMax offered me 20. Boop. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the 20 um, and just drive old blue, you know, baby blue. I haven't got the name quite figured out yet. But anyways, that's why I'm getting rid of my Ram. Has nothing to do with any kind of absurd idea that I don't really like my truck. I, I love it, this thing is awesome. And I know without a doubt, I'm really gonna miss it. The first thing that I'm gonna miss is gonna be really obvious um, if you have ever sat in an old C10, and that is the room. I'm six, almost 6'2", um, and so the room that I have in this Ram is awesome. I got all kinds of leg room and arm room, all, the, all this stuff. That C10 is tiny, tiny. And I'm already seeing it. I'm gonna to have to shorten that steering column. I'm gonna to have to do something really, I wanna say fancy, but probably more like a hack to the seat to make the seat as thin as possible so I can be all the way back. Um, so I'm gonna miss the room. Another thing I'm gonna miss is that this thing will tow 10,000 pounds. Uh, it's rare that I have to tow 10,000 pounds, but when I do, I can. And not gonna be able to do that with the C10. <laughs> Just nope, uh, especially not with the drivetrain that's got in it right now. A little six cylinder and a three on the column. Mm. So uh, I'm gonna miss that. The other thing is this Ram, I have hauled over 2,000 pounds multiple times in the bed of the truck. That C10 is probably not gonna do that. However, while I was buying a distributor yesterday for the C10, which by the way, it's running pretty damn good right now. Um, I needed a new distributor. My brother Larry Dale was right. Uh, but while I was there, I was like, hey, did the C20 come with the coil springs or were they just leaf springs only? Was that just a C10 thing? And uh, so the guy got to look at it and he's like, yeah, we got coil springs for the C20 and here's heavy duty ones. And now I might have went overboard on it, but I went ahead and I bought the heavy duty C20 coil springs for the C10. So in theory, I think I should be able to, without much of a problem at all, once I get those springs on there, haul 1500 pounds in the bed. Uh, Cause the C20s was a three quarter ton truck, three quarter ton truck, uh, uh, that's 1,500 pounds. So a regular C20 is supposed to be able to haul 1,500 in the bed. And then I got the upgraded springs from that, so I should be good. But I'm, a, I'm kind of afraid, I kind of, I think I went overkill because I'm kind of afraid my ride is gonna be really bumpy and crappy. And, uh, and then there's the fact that I've still got the C10 axle, so, I can't put a real big load in it because unless I swap out that that it's just a I think it's just a little Chevy 10 bolt rear end so it won't hold 2,000 pounds I'll bend that bend the, the axles before or bust the bearings whatever if I load it up too much 
So anyways, I've talked a lot. <laughs> I love you guys that listen. You know, it's kind of like therapy. <laughs> but anyways, that's what's going on. You can't work out at the ranch today because I need help. Uh, but my brother Larry Dale, he's coming in this Sunday, and he'll be out there. We'll get we'll get stuff done come Monday. And uh, yeah, so selling of the Ram, nothing to do with the truck. You know, I know there's a lot of people out there that's like, oh, oh, Chrysler products. Bleh. But what I'm figuring out is two things. Number one, it does, I will say, not, not so much with the trucks, but like the cars, it really seems like the people that get them are lower income and they're not going to do the maintenance needed. Um, and so, well, if you're not properly taking care of the vehicle, it ain't gonna last. I, I saw this all the time. I was an accounts manager a long time ago for a, a buy here, pay here car lot. And what I saw was that um, uh, lower income people are freaking hard on a vehicle. Uh, I, I can't really explain it. Um, and, I, and of course I know that there's, there's exceptions to every rule, but you know, like little things like the stereo buttons, the buttons on the radio, all of the coating is just like ripped off and broken through because they don't push the buttons the way that normal people do. I know this sounds weird, but you know, it's like they're digging in with their fingernail instead of pushing with their fingertip. And so they, I would see it all the time, all kinds of vehicles, uh, little things like that. And, there were, and no maintenance was ever done. So when they needed brakes, and it's probably because they couldn't afford it, they needed brakes, they just kept on going until they also then needed rotors, you know? And so with Chrysler vehicles, I will say the cars, if it's a used one, in my experience, tends to be in worse condition than any other vehicle because of the people who tend to buy them. Chrysler vehicles are always trying to compete with Ford and Chevy, and so they offer really good deals, and they have better pricing a lot of times than the Fords and Chevys. And so lower income people buy them, then you got the problem of lower income people don't seem to be capable financially to treat the car the way it needs to be. Oh, God, I'm ranting, I know. But, uh, maybe you guys like it. Uh, so, I don't see that there's any quality issues in this truck. I mean, it's just tip top. Gets freaking stellar gas mileage. I've had it, uh, let's see here, right now, I'm gonna look at it. My average for the lifetime that I've had this truck, I haven't reset it. The 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 trip B, I keep it running, and it's currently at 25,929 miles, and my lifetime average gas mileage is 16.5 miles per gallon. Now, this is a little optimistic, so it's probably more like 16.2 miles per gallon, but still, in a truck that is pushing up on 400 horsepower, will haul 2,000 in the bed, and pull 10,000, and it's comfortable, sharp, man. It looks so good. I think the Dodges are the, the best looking trucks on the road. Love them. Love the truck. I'm gonna miss it. But not so much to where I'm gonna miss out on the 20,000 that it's worth right now, as well as the super high insurance because I've got two teenage drivers. So, there it is. That's why I'm getting rid of my Ram. And I guess I can end the video right now. So, see ya.